Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the Windows Update Install Error 0x87643 in Windows 11. Basically, this was seen first in the version 22000.348. And if you've searched for this video, I think you know what this error is. Basically, you have some Windows updates that were previously installed, but next, when you try to install other updates, those previous updates will pop up and they won't be installed. You're gonna receive this error and you can also click on retry or run the Windows Update Troubleshooter, but this won't fix the issue. The issue is somehow at Microsoft's end. So to fix this issue, we're going to run a Microsoft tool that is designed to disable specific updates, and it can be used in this cases. If you had updates that were previously installed and now they are offered again and you receive some errors that won't let you install other updates because I encountered this as well on the dev channel, I'm going to show you how to fix this using this Microsoft tool. You're going to have the download link for this in the article down below in the description. All you need to do is to double click on it. And as you can see, it says show or hide updates, troubleshoot and help prevent computer problems, show or hide updates, select the updates that Windows will install automatically and then click on next. It will detect some problems. It will search of course for updates and will try to see what is up with these updates that are not installing or what is up with the error that you receive. Next up, you will see the screen show or hide updates. Updates improve the security and performance of your computer, but if an update isn't working, you can temporarily hide it. Windows will not install hidden updates automatically. So you can hide updates and you can show hidden updates. We're going to click on hide updates first. And here you can see the updates that were already installed, of course, on your computer and you can select them. And then basically Windows will not install these hidden updates. You can select a certain update, click on next. This tool will also try to resolve the problems. And as you can see, the problem is now fixed. After you hide that certain update that won't install, make sure to check for updates and see if you can now install updates with no issues. And later on, if you want to enable those updates again, you can do that from this tool as well. You can now close the troubleshooter, but we're going to run it again so you can see how to look for the hidden updates and um, check them. So if you receive a certain error with an update that you know that was previously installed, or even if you didn't install it previously, but that update is giving you an error that won't install you other important updates. For example, the version 22,000.478 came up a few days ago, and some users weren't able to install this update because they received certain errors with updates that wouldn't install. So now let's click on show hidden updates and now you can see the hidden updates that we have and if we select a certain update, we can install it again and this tool will try to resolve the problem. I strongly recommend you try this tool, it can help you a lot while installing Windows updates. As I've said, the link for it will be in the article down below. And now we can close it. Additionally, what you can do is to re-register the Windows update component. That could also help if this tool from Microsoft doesn't help you. So we're going to have another link in the article down below in the description, which will lead you to 10forums.com scroll down a bit and look for the reset re-register windows update components.bat click on download and save it on your desktop as you can see you have the code here you can see what this tool does so you should not worry about what this tool does if you know basic code you can follow along these lines of code and see what this tool does once you download it right click on it and then click on run as administrator and then click on yes on user account control. You're going to see that the Windows update servers will stop. It will be reset and re-registered. As you can see, it will delete some files and then it will re-register those files. This command could take up to five, 10 minutes, depending on your system resources. So wait patiently until the command is finished. You're going to see what output we're going to receive after the script is finished. Now you're going to receive this message. It is required to restart the computer to finish resetting Windows update. You can press any key and the operating system will Will be restarted and you can come up after the restart and check for updates again and see if the problem is fixed after the restart you should be good to go as i've said go and check for updates again on your operating system and you should no longer receive those errors and you should be able to install all windows updates with no issues especially the important ones as i've said a few days ago the 22000.376 update came up and a lot of users commented on my videos and also posted on the microsoft forums that they cannot update 
to that version because of certain errors that came up with other updates that were previously installed but the case as i've said can be even for updates that weren't previously installed and i'm hoping that after watching this video and running the microsoft tool which is called wu show hide and also if you need more assistance you can run the re-register tool as i've said you're going to have also the link for that in the article down below i'm hoping that everything is now fixed and you are able to install all windows updates on your computer if this video is useful don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was emmanuel from tech based until next time have a nice day